What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're showcasing a Rainbow Tech Super Boo. So without further ado, let's do this. As you can see we're running him on a Modern Boo Saga team with mostly Boos and a few support units. And uh, we're doing Boss Rush 3 just because it's easy and I'm feeling lazy today. Now. For anyone that's wondering why I'm not bringing a transformation boost team with the SDR Super Boo as lead, there are two reasons. Number one, I never pulled for SDR Super Boo, so I don't have him. I think most people probably skip that banner just because it was right before the Gogeta and Broly dual Dokkan Fest, right? But also, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure that you can't actually run the uh, Tech Super Boo on that team because the STR Super Boo, who's the leader of that team, has the exact same name as the Tech Super Boo. So either way, it wouldn't have worked out. So that's why we're going with the second best option available, or really the only good option available right now for this Super Boo, which is the Majin Buu Saga team. And uh, hopefully, we'll see how good this unit is at Rainbow status. I know he's kind of a more obscure unit, you know, not very popular. I doubt a lot of people have him rainbowed like I do. And uh, you know what? Sometimes it's kind of fun to do these showcases. Wow, look at that. Look at that Kid Boo, man. The physical Kid Boo fully trims the Awakened at rainbow status is an absolute monster. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I did do a showcase for this unit um, a little while ago when the EZA first came out on Global. So if you want to see that video, go check it out. But right now we're talking about this Super Boo here. Um, not the best available setup for him right now because we do want to get him linked up with probably the physical Kid Boo. So that's why I took the Kid Boo out of rotation previously because I want him to come back around and link with this Boo. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter what we do with these Vegitos. So as far as the tech Super Boo goes, like I said, he's not like a crazy unit. He's not going to be super popular. And uh, the question becomes, yo, why did I rainbow him, right? Like, why did I decide to rainbow this obscure unit that not a lot of people probably use or even pay attention to? 405k attack stat right there. And we're going to get 278k damage. Okay, so two reasons why I decided to rainbow him. Number one, uh, I was struggling. Well, actually, there's only one main reason. I was struggling a lot with Super Battle Road, especially the um, tech the Extreme Tech stage as well as the Majin Buu Saga stage. And I really, really wanted to get some units that could help me out, right? So I was talking to people on my stream, my super, I was doing a Super Battle Road stream at the time. I was like, guys, what units do I have in my box right now that could kind of help me out and make my team a little bit more viable for this for the stage, right? And people were like, yo, check out that Tech Super Boo, man. He's actually pretty useful. And I never really paid attention to him before. I was like, yo, this guy is trash, right? Like, <laughs> why do I want him? And then I looked him up on the wiki and I was like, he's actually kind of solid, guys. So I'll read the uh, information for him first before I talk more about what he's actually good at. And as far as the card goes, his leader scale is tech types, he plus three, attack and defense plus 50%, which is all right. As you guys can see, tax that went up to about 800k and he just got additional off too. So I did go ma a majority additionals for him, I believe. So I did 15 additional um like 11 crit or 5 crit probably 5 crit because it's like mandatory you have to give him the 5 crit for a tech type unit and then the rest of dodge i believe but his leader skill i just told you his super attack is supreme damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy and his uh passive is increases sorry I, I totally messed it up on the side here but essentially his passive is heals you for 30 percent of the damage that he deals right so basically this unit is a healer as well as a somewhat inconsistent stunner so that's pretty much the main reason i decided to rainbow him because i saw that i had him with full dupes because i just i guess i just pulled him a lot randomly when i was going for other units and uh he's actually quite useful in this very niche role that he has right so he will stun pretty much 10 percent of the time that is what a rare chance is the 10 percent chance to stun and he also is a great healer because he will heal 30 percent of the damage that he deals as HP. That makes sense, right? I kind of lost my train of thought there, but you guys know what I'm saying. Like 30% of damage he deals will be restored back to your HP as healing, right? So in a stage like Super Battle Road where you're taking a lot of damage, those heals will actually come in super, super clutch. 
And uh, as you can see previously, right, he did about a million damage with the additionals. So a million damage, 30% of that, that's actually about 300k that he healed you for right there with also the rare chance to stun. So if he gets that stun off, then he'll actually reduce the incoming damage even more. So overall, I think he's actually quite a useful unit. You know, you're not going to be running him that often because on a regular Dokkan Fest stage, he might not be that useful, right? Because he's not going to do a ton of damage. Um, and usually, you know, for new Dokkan Fest 2, you don't really need the stun, right? But for Super Battle Road, where you can still stun the enemy... Well, what, what I'm saying is you, you don't need the stun mainly because you can't really stun units anymore for new Dokkan Fest units. Most of them have the uh, immunity to stun, right? So... It's not super useful in that instance, but for Super Battle Road and for like Battlefield where the enemies can still be stunned, he's actually still, he has like good utility. So that's why I decided to rainbow him. I'm not saying that it's a good idea. I'm not recommending anybody really to rainbow him um, now or <laughs> in the near future. But if you guys are struggling with certain stages like, you know, um, the Extreme Tech stage or the Majin Buu Saga stage, and there's no transformation boost uh, extreme super battle road right now but if that becomes a thing in the future then maybe you'll want to rainbow him for those stages i don't really know i, I don't know what they're gonna decide to make like they're, they're gonna introduce new super battle road stages at some point i just don't really know like what they're gonna be what categories they're gonna decide to do so um we're not gonna really like focus too much on that in this video so as you guys can see so far he's doing well he's doing well we want him to be Ideally, we want to be above 80% HP for that 50% boost from the Kid Buu here. So I'm going to actually heal up real quick with the Dende. Actually, no, we didn't need to do that. We didn't need to do that. I could have just... Okay, that was stupid. That was stupid. So I could have just gotten super off to show you guys how good of a healer he is. But I just totally messed that up. My bad, guys. My bad, guys. I need to focus a little bit more. I need to focus a little bit more. So you guys have seen um, his damage output. Not bad. I mean, considering he has no attack boost on his passive at all, it's actually not bad. Okay, so with the crit, 976k, you take 30% of that, about 280k, 300k or so. So even if we were almost like, if we, we if we were like almost dead, let's say we were at 200k HP, this guy would have healed us to full with that super, which is why I don't really regret rainbowing him. I, I, didn't, I don't think he was like the best choice for a rainbow. But I don't think that it was a bad call by any means. I did have extra tech orbs at the time. Right now I'm kind of low on tech orbs, um, which is unfortunate. But you know what? When the Tech Beerus Extreme Z Awakening comes, or Extreme Z Battle comes to Global, I'll be able to replenish those tech orbs. So it's not a huge deal. And I already rainbowed my Tech Beerus, so I don't need to give him more orbs. So those orbs are just going to be just going to be free orbs I can use for whatever tech unit I want. But I'm going off on a tangent. Um, but extreme, actually no, this, this kind of works. Going on the topic of Extreme Z Awakenings, I feel like this tech Super Boo will definitely get Extreme Z Awakening at some point because pretty much all units do, right? All units eventually get Extreme Z Awakening and uh, I expect this guy to probably finally get some attack on his passive when he gets an Extreme Z Awakening and uh, maybe become somewhat of a tank because that's what I feel like they want this unit to be built as, a tank and a healer, similar to the Inzamasu that I recently showcased. Give me one second to try to focus here. Boom, okay, we got all seven. Nice, nice. Always feels good on a showcase when I actually can get all seven of those nodes. Now, we got the Kid Boo passive active. We got the Dokkan attack off. We got all seven nodes. Can we get a crit here? It's 10%. He has a 10% chance to crit. Ah, no crit, but 1.34 mil right there. Would have healed us. I mean, not including the heal from the Dokkan attack. Would have healed us for like 400k or something like that. Uh, let, me, let me see if my math checks out. 300k. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> About 400k. So... Um, yeah, it's just a good unit, guys. I mean, what kind of what else can I say? You guys have seen pretty much all you need to see. He hasn't gotten his uh stun off yet, which is, I mean, it, it, it's that's just how it's gonna be because he does he only has a 10% chance to, to stun. If he does get the stun off, it's awesome, but I wouldn't expect it too much. It's, it's like the uh tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, right? He has a rare chance to stun. But how often do you really see it? Like sometimes it feel like sometimes it feels like it's, it really happens a lot, right? Sometimes you're like 
this guy got three or four stuns off in a row, but that's just good RNG. It doesn't mean that they're going to be super consistent in stunning because 10% chance at the end of the day is a 10% chance and it's not super high. But um, when he does get that stun off, you feel really good about it. <laughs> and it can be super, super clutch, man. In Super Battle Road, so many times this guy saved my life because I'm like, yo, if he doesn't get the stun off, I will literally die. And then he does get the stun off and it just feels so freaking good. Yo, I was, I was, I was just saying, he got the stun off right there on the Vegeta and also did almost a million damage and just killed the Vegeta right there. So, man, I enjoyed this unit. I think he's actually really good. Obviously, you need to set him up with the uh, Kid Boo for the best damage output because you want that 50% um, 50 attack boost, right? And he also becomes quite a bit tankier with the 50% defense boost too from the Kid Boo. Uh, so if you guys have Kid Boo, definitely put them together if you're going to be running this Tech Super Boo. But aside from that, I have no, I don't have much else to say, man. His his links are decent. His categories are only Majin Buu Saga and Transformation Boost at the moment, and you can't really run him on Transformation Boost because Super Buu, the the leader of that category is Super Buu as well, so they can't be run on the same team. Uh, so for the time being, really his real only category, or his only real category is Majin Buu Saga. Uh, I just realized that before I was like talking about how you might want to rainbow him for Transformation Boost, but it makes no sense because there's no. Uh, there's no leader other than Super Buu, so they can't be on the same team. But maybe in the future we'll get another um, leader for the Transformation Boost category. And then in that case, maybe you can rainbow him or give him some orb investment and uh, consider that as a viable option. For the time being, I guess, all I'm trying to say is like, I want to show you guys what this guy can do. And he's actually a lot better than you might think. And uh, he, he'll, he'll deal like, you know, you can see like some okay damage, but the main thing is he heals very well and he has a chance to stun. And uh, depending on how you set him up, he can heal you for, you know, uh, like 300,000, 500,000 damage if you get a nice crit off and stuff like that. But that's pretty much the showcase, guys. I don't think there's much more you guys need to see about this unit. Um, I, I kind of like, like, I kind of enjoy showcasing these obscure units sometimes because Everybody focuses on the, the new hotness, the new hard hitting, like super OP unit, like the GT Trio or LR Baby or whatever. But sometimes it's nice to actually go back, you know, dig into your box and pull out some of these like random units that nobody really runs, nobody really pays attention to, but actually can be pretty useful when uh, certain situations arise, like Super Battle Road. Or battlefield, or any other you know hard modes they decide to release in the future that require some healing, some stunning, some possible tanking. He can't really tank, but like I said, in the future when he gets his Extreme Z Awakening, which I see definitely happening, uh, maybe he will be able to tank. Maybe he'll be able to do even more damage. Maybe he'll be even be an even better healer. Anything's possible. I don't really know, but that's gonna do it for the showcase, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this unit and whether or not you guys. You know put any investment in him whether or not he saved your life in like super bad road or something like that because he definitely did for me and i feel like it was a worthy investment i feel like it was a worthy investment but that's gonna do it for the video guys as always if you like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content but that's all from me you guys have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>